Hey drummers, it's Rob Litton here from drumstheword.com. Welcome to this full video song lesson. Today I'm going to show you how to play the song Magic Carpet Ride by Steppenwolf, drummed by Jerry Edmonton. This song was requested over on my Facebook page, and so if you want to make your own song suggestions, then please go over there to do so. You'll find a link to my Facebook page beneath this video. Um, and we've got uh, that sort of weird effect on the guitar at the beginning of the song and then we come straight in with this amazing groove, this really cool sounding um, uh, performance by the whole band. And Jerry really lays it down with the drums, very nice and simply, not going over the top, not doing anything too flash, just perfect for the song. So it comes in with like this two bar drum beat. The first bar, uh, we're playing on the closed hi-hat, snare drum on beats two and four, without the ghost note at the end of the bar, we're simply playing one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three four. Now the second bar um, is very very similar. We're going to leave out the ghost notes. They're the notes written in brackets, by the way. Um, in the second bar, they fall on the uh of two and the uh of four. You may notice. We're going to leave those out for now. It's exactly the same as the first bar, except we just get an extra bass drum note on the and of three. So we get three bass drum notes in a row. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And notice he doesn't play the three bass drum notes in a row every second bar. Sometimes I can almost hear like he's missed out the bass drum on the and of two or the and of three. Um, and you just play two either side. Um, so feel free to improvise with that as well. But basically, those two bars are our main drum beat for the, the upbeat section. One and two and three, four. One and two and three and four. One and two and three, four. One and two and three and four. Dun 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 dun. It's hard to sing a syncopated guitar part while playing a steady drum beat, because you notice that Jerry isn't following that. Dun, 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 dun. If I was in the band, I just couldn't resist playing stuff like Stuff like that. I'm sort of more following the melody, but no, Jerry doesn't do that. He keeps it nice and steady, which suits the music really well, because keeps, keeps it locked. Uh, and then the guitars are able to sort of play around, and the keyboard are able to play around with their syncopated pattern a bit more and not interfere with the drums. So, going back to the first bar, let's now add in some ghost notes. 